We are at our cabin. This is where we're staying this weekend. We are staying at the Fort Wilderness. So come, let's take a tour. So first, we have a whole little table out here. A little picnic area. This is our living room. So we got a TV, there's a chair, there's a little table. There is a couch. And then we have a kitchen. It has a microwave, a dishwasher, there's a toaster, and a full refrigerator. There's the bathroom. Okay. And in the bathroom, there's one sink. Hi. Uh, toilet. And there's a bathtub. And it has the cleaned on there, if you can see that, for the amenities for the tub. And then here is the bedroom. There is a, it looks like it's a full-size bed. Possibly just a full-size, I forget. And then, But there's also a bunk bed. There is a closet and a safe. And... A little area over here with another mirror and there's another door to the outside which is kind of nice but that is it this is where we are staying for the night i've been dreaming of a true love's kiss <laughs> this is an amazing little cabin yeah. look at that artwork i like it lanterns nice little comfy abode it's kind of what you would expect does this make you feel like you're camping Great place to come if you're here with the family, I think. Uh, small little family. It sleeps six. It does sleep six. There is a pull out uh, sofa. I believe Leah may have mentioned that the sofa here does pull out. But I mainly wanted to show this. We're just kind of looking around. And I love these, the mason jar um, glasses. Um, there we go. Get a better focus here. Mason jar glasses. Really nice. Looks like we got some coffee cups. A little bit of a baking dish there. Let's see what else do we got. We got our standard plates. So, you know, full kitchen. So it's what you would expect. So if you bring your own food, you would. We didn't bring any food with us. We were at Epcot, we had the snacks. Um, we will be eating at some point. I just don't know what we're gonna be doing. Yeah. It's kind of like little cooking hot plates. Okay, so I have missed just coming into a hotel room and seeing this. <laughs> it has been too long. And then also, each t there's two TVs in here, and I don't know if I can get that to focus, but just like the, util the stuff in the bathtub, they put everything in a bag and it says clean. And there should be, actually, and here it is, Mind the mess, we just unloaded the car. A checklist. So it shows you they have cleaned the door handles, the light switches and controls, closet amenities, beverage area, bathroom fixtures and surfaces, bathroom amenities, thermostat and electric controls, the bedding, the electronic devices, the hard surfaces and flooring, and cleaned and wrapped the amenities. So this, and they mark on the map even everything that in, when they identify where they're located. So that is fantastic. I know that a lot of places are do, taking these new cleaning measures very seriously because they want everyone to be safe. It's a little fluorescent light. So the switch is actually right here on the wall. It's this switch right here turns on and off the light in the bunks they each have their own little light so if i bring if i kind of reach under here there's the little toggle switch there you go. sorry if it was a little bright and then there's the top bunk kind of neat really neat we're on a ride around Fort Wilderness Lodge. Fort Wilderness something. Fort Wilderness Campgrounds. Campgrounds. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 
It just, it's rainy out and there's water everywhere. It rained a little while ago. Where are we ago. going? <laughs> Window wipers. <laughs> Window wipers. All right, okay. that's how we made things worse. Nice to kind of show you, show everybody around uh, the campground area. It is very beautiful. It's like being in the middle of a forest. Well, it's a campground. Yes. Woods. Yes, we're lost in the we're woods. We're lost in the woods. Kristoff, guide us home. <laughs> Flynn, look oh. at the deer. Oh, oh, stop, stop, deer, 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 deer. There's some deer. Yeah, there's. This is fantastic. They're that. just little mm -hmm. baby deer out in the woods. As it does, they still have the signs everywhere saying that you have to wear your face masks unless you are actively station or stationary, actively eating or drinking. I think it's a good idea to come check this out too. Everybody can get a, a look see here. It's about eight o'clock in the evening. Careful. You're really close to that pylon. <laughs> I'm driving, I, I can drive. <laughs> can't get out of the car. If I was in Shady Company, I can get a, be a getaway driver. They're riding on their feet. They are, aren't they? Here's the swimming pool. Whoop. Because this place is so big, there's also an internal bus route. So there's bus stops all over the place for the internal buses. So if you don't want to spend the money to rent a car, you can walk or take the bus. When we were looking at getting to dinner from our cabins this evening, it actually said it was going to take a lot less time if we just walked. It said 19 minutes to walk or almost a half an hour if you take the bus. So definitely plan ahead for stuff like that. Um, or you can rent a go-kart, go-kart, <laughs> a golf cart. You can rent a golf cart. How much was the golf cart? $67. Is that a night or just I for I think the it was just for our stay. So it was $67. We're only staying one night. Um, but that may be just for the whole stay. We don't know. They're electric golf carts, uh, so you want to make sure you plug it in when you're not using it. And there is an outlet by I the cabin. There's the dog park. I saw, I saw some deer next to the dog park. Oh, there's another cool. playground. It's nice because a lot of kids are riding around on their bicycles. Yeah, since it's a campground, a lot of families have brought their bicycles. We have oh, to blink, go that blink. way. Blink, blink. It's that way only. Oh, look at their scooters. Yes. I want lighting up scooters. Nice. We love the scooters. <laughs> <laughs> all the cast members that are driving out on their carts all wave at you. It's very friendly. And then you can have your dog here. I think this has got to be one cool. Give a little bit more information after we sleep through the night and see how our morning is. But so far, I think this has been one of the better stays, at least experience-wise. So the cabins themselves are pretty expensive if there's not a discount. We are staying here because of Disney's offer for discount for annual pass holders currently that goes through September 30th of 30% off. We were we originally booked one night. We were hoping to try and add a night to it, but they were fully booked. So they are definitely doing business here at Fort Wilderness at least. So they do have limousine carts that as well that'll seat up to six people. Or you can bring your own if you have a golf cart. We had we've seen a couple people are staying at cabins by us that had 
trailers hooked up to the back of their cars and it's because they brought their own golf cart. So they don't enforce that you have to use their golf cart. There's specific golf cart parking all over the place. And there's walking trails and all kinds of great stuff. We'll explore more tomorrow morning when it's light out. Now I don't know if they're due, I don't think they're doing it right now, but they do do cookout marshmallow s'mores cookouts and stuff with like Chip and Dale here when things are more normal. So general rules of the cart of course is if you do have vehicles behind you, you are supposed to pull off to the side and let them pass. There is definitely a lot more vehicle activity now I think because a lot of the parks have now closed. It's almost it's a little after eight. And I think this one, like, this is up there with uh, the Value Plus Resort, part of animation. For with you, if you have kids, I think kids would definitely love this area. Especially because they have charcoal grills. Each cabin has a full bench, as we showed, or a picnic table, and uh, they have a charcoal grill outside. Uh, it's a good time. We have some s'mores maybe as a campfire. Yes. We're heading back to our site. There is the other swimming pool, the smaller one. Here's another bus stop. Each area has their own bus stop. Each bus stop has a soda machine. Here is our little camp street here. We're Arrowhead staying Way. in Air, the Arrowhead, Arrowhead Way Loop. We stayed in 2207. One way streets here. Yeah, they're loops. around the loop. It's a loop. And we're back. We're back. What I've noticed is a lot of people around here will decorate, which is kind of cool. Like those people have Christmas lights out in front of theirs.